You heard that safe drivers get rewarded with Snapshot from Progressive, so you went online to check it out. But then you saw an ad for a vintage baseball cap, and now you find yourself checking the stats of that team's second baseman in 97, wondering why his stolen base total dropped after his rookie season. Wonder how much his rookie card is worth. Yes, they said it was easy to save money with Snapshot from Progressive, but they forgot about the rest of the Internet. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Snapshot not available in California, North Carolina, or from all agents. Video and audio and video and now audio again. We sure feel like we're competing in two different racing series in the same season. <laughs> Mithila, I do not know about you, but I for sure am competing in Formula One. <laughs> On a serious note though, we hope you're enjoying our video episodes. We've had a phenomenal response. Thank you for that. And needless to say, 2016 has started off on a fantastic note for us. Or in our case, a funny note. In our last video episode, we promised that we would talk about the underdogs of the sport. Apart from Nico Rosberg. Can Force India aim to finish fourth in 2016? Well, that's the big question we're answering in this episode. First things first, let's really put in some perspective on Force India's career best finish in 2015. Traditionally now, Force India has been 6th or the 7th fastest team in Formula 1. That's if McLaren perform as they are expected to do so. And occasionally, of course, which is usually once in 5 odd seasons, we've seen Sauber raise their stakes to take on the top guns, in which case they'd end up beating Force India as well. Well, that means that 5th was an incredible achievement for the team. But that's also largely due to McLaren's fortunes. Let's remember that everyone except Manor beat McLaren in 2015. Now, if McLaren resurrect form in 2016, Force India could well be staring at 6th place in the Constructors' Championship. But going in Force India's favour is that they have a consistent driver lineup and the World Championship winning Mercedes engine powering them. And like we spoke in our video episode, the two things that the team will need to focus on is car development and race strategy. The team's B-spec car worked wonders in 2015 and given the freedom in tyre choice this season, tyre strategy during a race will be only that much more important. That's so true. We've seldom seen Force India gain positions due to smart tyre strategy. Well, all in all, if Force India were to even maintain 5th place in 2016, it'll be a really entertaining battle in the midfield. But to finish 4th, they would need to beat either of the former World Championship teams, Red Bull Racing or the Williams F1 team. Given that Red Bull will have Renault powering them though, do you think they could be an easy target to pick on? Personally, I do not think that Force India can bully Red Bull this season. Red Bull wouldn't have chosen an engine solution that would have seen them on the back foot for yet another season. And while we're wondering whether the Red Bull and Renault combination will work, Ricciardo is busy talking about how Mercedes' power could have driven him to victories in 2015. You know, it's not a wonder to me that Renault feel left out all the time. <laughs> well, nothing has changed in the world of Red Bull racing in 2016. Except their logo. <laughs> <laughs> the other competitor for Force India to beat would be Red Bull's B team Toro Rosso. You know, they've beaten Force India just once back in 2008. But with Ferrari's 2015 engine, they might just end up being a big threat. We saw how quick the Toro Rosso was in the faster corners. I can only imagine what it would be like to give Verstappen and Sainz more power. <laughs> At this moment, it's almost like Verstappen's dream of driving a Ferrari has come halfway through. You know, I bet he drives a Ferrari on his Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> now, as a Force India loyalist, I really hope McLaren Honda do not regain form. But as a Formula 1 fan, I wish they do. 
you know the team really cannot have yet another dismal season they've lost sponsors they'll earn lesser revenue from formula 1 and if this continues i won't be surprised if they lose alonso and button as well but see the bright side kunal if mclaren's woes continue they will be able to unlock the potential of earning revenue from sub great pay drivers <laughs> <laughs> so one of my favorite drivers checo perez said that his stint at mclaren was ill timed i really wonder how fernando alonso feels then <laughs> <laughs> now mclaren honda are actually formula 1's underpowered underdog and on that note has f1 team really needs to prove that they are a dog worthy of a fight in the doggy dog world of formula 1 <laughs> well my pick for the underdog of 2016 would be carlos sainz so i'm not sure if he's been listening to us and has taken our advice to hire max verstappen's pr agency <laughs> but i'm pretty sure that these two youngsters they'll be matched for pace and the one driver who really needs to pick up pace in 2016 is felipe massa i wonder how long will the williams formula 1 team select his experience over raw speed this is exactly the moment kevin magnussen is waiting for existing drivers to retire and we have quite a few on the list kimi raikkonen jensen button felipe massa and maybe even lewis hamilton <laughs> so the good chance is that hamilton could retire if his music album tops the charts well because there is little of the engine music left in formula 1 anyway <laughs> <laughs> retirement for formula 1 drivers isn't as boring as it sounds so while you and i were on christmas break kunal Nikki Lauda went and bought an airline for himself. He is quite a businessman, isn't he? <laughs> and David Coulthard, well he has used all our podcast recording lessons and he's now going to produce content for Channel 4. Well, technically, even Bernie Ecclestone is a retired Formula 1 driver. <laughs> Taking up a retired driver's seat isn't always bad either. Look at Vettel, he took away Coulthard's seat. and won four titles on the trot and before we forget here's to the most hilarious moment in formula 1 of the week so ferrari say that bernie ecclestone should pay for an independent engine <laughs> well ferrari bernie doesn't pay never he makes people pay always <laughs> <laughs> you know soon there'll be a time where he'll ask us to pay for using the term f1 in our podcast <laughs> But if he ever funded an engine, he could have the teams that go by the name Red Bull Racing Ecclestone. <laughs> That's it, folks. Thank you for tuning in. We are going to try and bring you as much humor as we possibly can on video and on audio, and of course in text on my blog. Keep tuning in and keep racing. Me 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 me, but also you. The Pharaoh fast forwards his favorite foreign film. Pip 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 powder donut. <clears throat> okay, what's my line? Uh, the only line I see here on the script is get options based on your budget with the name your price tool from Progressive. Oh man, that's a tongue twister, huh? I'm sorry, I'm gonna need a few more minutes. <clears throat> bulbous walrus, the bulbous walrus. The name your price tool, only from Progressive. The owl and a fowl of the comatose coxswain. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law.